Good morning, everybody. My name is Apollo, and welcome to The Stanley Parable. So this is a game that's a uh, different aspect on what games are. I know it's pretty older, but I really want to get in and play this because I think this is going to be, like, a really fun thing. So end is never the end is never the end is never the end. The end is loading nev... <laughs> End is never the end is never the end is never the end is never is nev <laughs> is loading nev wait is it not loading is that the joke is it loading oh no i can't tell if it's loading or not ah all right it's way too like much to get into this so uh is it not actually loading i'm i got the achievement welcome back which is quit the game then start it again Oh, it's loading. Okay. It's just taking a little while. I'll take a little sippy sip since, you know, it's just going to take a bit. I don't know why this is taking so long to load. Oh. This click. is the story of a man named Stanley. Hi, Stanley. Stanley, Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor keyboard. on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and oh. in what order. All right. This is what employee 427 did every day of every I thought he was in room 247. Year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. Okay. As though he had been made exactly for this job. Well, that's Stanley a very sad, absolutely. was like, happy a very sad outlook on life and then one day something very peculiar happened what something that would forever change Stanley I took control something of he him. would never quite forget what he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow no one had showed up to give him instructions call a meeting so mean. or even say hi never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation. Something was yeah, very I'm clearly not cool wrong. With isolation either. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Oh, I can move. Heck yeah, can I can I do something? Can I interact with anything? E? Hold up. That's me pressing the key right now. It only works on the E though. Oh, that's that's trippy. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I do anything? Oh, now it's working when I click. Okay. Oh, I got to I'm sorry. Uh I have to change up the mouse sensitivity. It is so low. Uh, resume. Okay, that is so much better. Hello? Oh, can I? Oh, I can close my desk. I can't get back in. Okay, all right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know, Stanley what could it mean? decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh wait, can I jump? No. I can find my way onto the desk though. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Interesting. Um, sorry. Okay, there we go. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> All right, you know what? Did it advance the story in any way? Maybe I just am looking for secrets. Ever think of that, Mr. Narrator Man? You don't control me. What's outside? Nothing. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Anything? 4.30. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? 
Click what? a door five times. Is that all that you think There's an achievement, an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five I didn't even realize clicks. I clicked on it five times. I suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants Okay, guys, I, I think we're going for an achievement. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Oh. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty clicks. Okay, all right. You ready, guys? You ready? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-nine,
I've got to admit, guys, that is a really, really nice painting. But look at that At one. this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Well, that's just rude. You suck. But look at that painting! Look at that painting! Give me a drink. Stanley sat what around waiting it? for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. What message? You trying to send me a message? I don't know about that. I'm just going to chill here. <gasps> Look at that painting. It's of like a snowy mountain. It looks like there's a forest down there in the corner. That's a nice painting, guys. I got to admit, that right there, boom, beautiful painting. All right, what do we got here? Huh? What do we got? Mugs? Stuff? Oh, look at that plant. <gasps> Ooh, wait. Oh, wait. I saw that. Aha. Now I'm standing on this. Come on. I'm just going to wait. I want at least one more line of dialogue before I get out of this room. No, I want one more line of dialogue. What time is it? See, time is still moving. It is currently 1134. 11 that's almost exactly the time in real life. That is unsettling. Either that thing actually takes from my computer, or that is just a stroke of crazy luck. Because right now it's 11.36. So, alright. Alright, fine, Mr. Narrator. I'll leave the room. Just wait. I want to see if this is accurate. No, nah, it's not accurate. It's pretty dang close though gotta say honestly it's kind of spooky that's how close that is yeah because right now i'll show you guys so like right there that clock says 11 35 and in my current time it is 11 36 which is eerily creepy in a sense let's get out of here but at last he'd had enough of the amazing room yeah he took the first open door on his left to get back to business. That one? Nah. What's up here? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Ah, that's true. Never been fired yet, but I live, run at the beat of my own drum, you know? Oh, cool. What's this room? Need a key card. Gotta find a key card, guys. Ah, uh, what's this? Uh, warning: Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death penalty for misuse of cargo lift. A thousand dollars penalty from jumping off cargo lift. Five thousand. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. Can I fall? I realize that investing in your trust in you someone think else I can, can fall? be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Ah! Ah! But ah! Egan is to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Oh, Good no. job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh, oh no! Stanley, I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry, All Stanley! All his were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. All right, fine. Except when Stanley came. I'm going to end this episode here because I want this actually to go on for a while. I kind of like this game and I want it to be like its own small little series. So I'm just going to see how many different endings and like different things I can find in the game. I'm going to continue on that path, except next time I'm not going to jump to my own death. <laughs> so I really hope you guys like this episode. If you like it, leave a like, subscribe to see the rest of the series, or just subscribe to see the many other games that I play. When you subscribe, make sure to hit that bell icon so that way you're notified when I upload new videos. But as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!